All right, guys, something a little bit different today. Uh, a while back, Nico Tools contacted me and asked if I'd like to take a look at some of their tools. And I said, sure, what do you, what do you got in mind? And they said, well, we'll put together a package and we'll just, we'll just send you some tools. So I had no idea what they were sending, and this is what arrived. They sent a cordless half-inch impact, a cordless three-eighths inch impact, four-and-a-half-inch cordless angle grinder, and a seven-eighths inch cordless hammer drill. All of these are 20 volt. I did notice that this one here does not say brushless on it, but I'm sure it's still going to work pretty good. They also sent a basic OBD2 code reader scanner, uh, a solar utility light. And actually, I have a bunch of these that I use at my house already, and these things are really good. And they sent a sharpening stone and a thermometer kit with an infrared thermometer and a regular dial thermometer. And I use these all the time when I do automotive air conditioning. So... Let's take a look at these few items here first, and then we'll break them down and look at the cordless tools. So in here we got the... Come with the cordless thermometer itself, and a battery. And of course it came with a regular dial style analog thermometer, which these are really handy for sticking in uh, air vents when you're trying to, uh, you know, get your vent temps down to as cold as possible without freezing the freezing the evaporator so let, i'll get this battery in here and then we'll check it out it works 67 69 fahrenheit it'll go celsius yeah these things are pretty slick i mean i'm sure you guys have seen these before and you can never have too many of these these things are handy We'll move on to this OBD2 scanner. Now, obviously, I do a lot of OBD2 scan tool videos, and this unit here is pretty basic, but he said when he looked at my channel and he saw that I did uh, OBD2 scanner videos, he threw this in just for something basic that, that the viewers could look at. Um, we're not going to go through too much of this. I'm sure, you know, these are pretty basic. Uh, they're, they're inexpensive, but they'll give you the basic codes that you need if you're stuck on the side of the road. All right, that's pretty cool. Like I said, I've got a few of these security lights that I bought years ago that I use around my property, and uh, <laughs> they work really good. Uh, I don't have this particular brand. Actually, this one's bigger and better than the ones that I have. It's a little bit larger, but these things are pretty slick. Oh, this one even has an on-off switch. The ones that I have are just always on, but, you know, I live in the cities, and crime's not getting any better. And uh, I've got these all around my property. And if people want to wander through in the middle of the night, they're going to get lit up. But no, these things are great for security. You just put them up and forget about them, and they just work. Then he sent a uh, sharpening stone. It's got two sides. It says, uh, well, let's see, it says uh, 1,000 grit and 6,000 grit. These things would be great for sharpening knives or um, maybe even trying to get a flat surface on some... Depending on what you're working on, if you're looking for something that needs a really flat surface, you could stone it with this. Or even if you had like a, you know, even if you had a, like a mill or something and you wanted to, uh, you know, just rub this thing over your ways to make sure that they're, you know, knock down any or uh, the deck of a engine block or a surface, uh, the surface of a cylinder head or something. You know, these things come in handy for many reasons. So this is pretty slick. I don't have one of these. And so I'm pretty pretty happy that he sent one. That's nice to have in the shop. All right, guys, I'm going to break down this stack of tools, and we're going to open them up individually, and uh, we're going to take a look at them. I've also got kind of some spec sheets on all this stuff, which I will pop up on the screen when we go to look at each individual individual tool. All right, guys, let's check out the 20-volt uh, half-inch impact. Slide this thing open. Get her spun around here. Comes with the uh, instruction manual, of course. Comes with the half-inch impact wrench. Comes with a set of half-inch sockets, the most common size lug nuts. So that's that's pretty pretty nice that they sent that. Comes with a charger. Comes with your 20 volt charger and your battery, which has a uh, an indicator on it. Let's see. A 
piece of plastic over the anvil. And uh, now, once I get done opening all these, I'm going to try and go through and do a quick little. Uh, we'll do a quick little uh, test with these. Not nothing scientific. We're not going to get into you know crazy torque testing. We're not, we're not the torque test channel, and we're just, we're just going to see that uh, you know these things work. So we'll get through opening up these tools, and then we're going to give them all a test here. But so far, that that looks pretty slick. It's got the got the belt uh, hook on it. Pretty nice. All right, now we got the, uh, let's check out the 3 8 inch drive, 20 volt. This one says brushless. Uh, it's a brushless impact wrench. Let's check this one out. Just spun around here. Oh. Again, comes with the uh, instruction manual. And this one comes with... Uh, Nice little battery. It's got a little, got the gauge on it, similar to the other one. Comes with a charger. No sockets with this one, but that's okay. We got sockets. Uh, this one does have, I don't know if you can see it down here, this one does have different speeds. Let's see if you can see that down there. Hit it once, low medium high okay full battery charge Let's see if you can see that I know it's hard to get in there if I uh, see the there's a red light there's a green light and a red light so you go low medium high low medium So anyhow, we'll get this, uh, like I said, once we get finished opening, we'll give it a try. All right, here we have the four and a half inch angle grinder, 20 volt brushless again. Uh, let's give this one a shot. Okay. So you got the owner's manual. You got there's a couple of little small tools in here for I think it's just one. Uh, the wrench for changing the the disc, the grinding disc. Again comes with a charger, another battery. Comes fully charged, another battery, and of course on this one here it's got the same, similar as that. Uh, let's get the battery on it first. This one's got all green lights, but you can see it goes low, medium, high. It also gives you the battery status over here as well as on the battery. So that's kind of interesting. Um, did not come with any grinding discs, but I happen to have an extra Diablo flap disc laying around. Diablo flap disc. Yeah, let's see if, uh, if this will thread on. Got a shaft lock there. Oh, I'm need to open up the wrench. Bear with me. Okay, I got the wrench out of the package. We'll hold the shaft lock with one. If I can do this on camera, hold the shaft lock with one finger. And get the spanner. There we go. Set the wrench down. Unscrew this. We'll take this spacer off. And we'll see if the flap disc wants to just screw right on. It is the correct thread. The the uh, guard is in the way just barely, but I'm not going to take that off. Tighten there, give her a tighten up. There we go. Nice little flap wheel on the uh, 
on the Nico. All right. And last but not least is this 7 8 inch brushless 20 volt cordless hammer drill. And what I noticed right away is that it comes with a set of drill bits and chisels. So this thing will go in just chisel mode. These are SDS style bits, but I notice on the picture here, you've got your SDS chuck and then a standard chuck so you can put regular drill bits in here. So this thing comes with pretty much everything you need to make any type of drill bit or chiseling function make it happen. And here's your selector switch for the four different uh, functions. Spec sheet says has four different functions, drilling, hammer drilling, hammering, and chiseling. So those are your four different options. Let's get it open. Owner's manual, of course. Here's the adapter chuck to go from the SDS style bits down to just a regular three jaw chuck. And that's nice to have. Um, of course it comes with the lithium battery, same type of gauge, fully charged charger. Let's hook this on here. Well, we gotta, first of all, we gotta undo the handle or loosen the handle. Get the battery on there. So that's drilling, hammer drilling. This must be hammer drilling. And this must be hammering. And this must be chiseling. Like they talk about in the in the specs. Yep, that's what that is. So this is a pretty beefy drill. This thing's uh this is pretty nice. Man, if I drilled, I tell you what, in another life, I used to do a, that was, well, long story. I did a lot of commercial construction. And man, if I drilled a lot of holes in concrete. But, you know, this was years and years ago, decades ago, actually, and we didn't have cordless hammer drills. It would have been so nice to have something like this back in the day. Man, that would have been nice. But here we are today. We got them now, anyway. So, anyway, we'll flip this around. And you can see here, this comes with a depth gauge, which slides in through your your handle attachment here. And so you can set this, which you can drill holes. That's your depth gauge. You can set a depth gauge and get the same hole every time. And then in here, the storage compartment comes with the drills. And uh, let's see what they come with here. Let's just see. So it comes with a chisel. SDS style shank. I think these are all going to be SDS. And here's another. This is a comes down to a point chisel. And then various size drill bits like uh, three sixteenths, five sixteenths. Uh, this is a half inch, three eighths and one quarter. So, you know, if a guy bought a kit like this, needed to drill a bunch of holes, you pretty much have everything you need, unless you're putting in some big shields that are, or some big anchors that are going to be, you know, much larger than this. But for anything your average guy is going to do, this is pretty, pretty nice kit. Okay, and for people who haven't used SDS style bits before, you can just take the bit, put it in the hole, and then just start turning it with a little pressure that way until it catches, and you can just push it all the way in. And then it holds it, you can't pull it out. But then to pull it out, you just pull the collar back, pull the bit out. So they're really easy to use. And now let's do a drilling sample. Yeah, that makes, uh, that makes quick work of, uh, that's a half inch hole and it did it. And, I mean, I'm not going to go any farther because I don't need a hole in this spot in this old shed floor, but... Alright, this is a piece of scrap steel out of my steel bin. And it's a piece of one inch thick by, I don't know, two inches, roughly. 
Let's give that grinder a try. Keep in mind, this is just a, a flap test, not a grinding test, but uh, these are pretty aggressive. So let's give it a shot. That thing works really good. It's got good power. It's hard to, uh, can't really bog it down. Okay, first we're going to try some lug nuts with the half-inch drive, the non-brushless, on this half-ton uh, GMC pickup. And I just made sure that these were torqued to about 130 foot-pounds, and we'll see how this Nico performs, this Nico half-inch drive. All right, here we go. Pretty easy work with this Nico half inch drive. I'm going to put them back on. I'll retorque them. We'll try it with the 3 8s. Alright, now we got the Nico 3 8 drive impact wrench. And as you can see, I'm using the same socket from the half inch drive, but I had to get an adapter from three eighths to half inch. Uh, if you were going to use this impact on tires and lug nuts regularly, I would recommend getting a set of three eighths inch drive impact sockets because every time you put it a, an adapter or an extension or something on an impact, you lose power. So you'd be better off with the socket that went right on this anvil. But for this demonstration, this is all we got, so this is what we're going to do. And I've got the lug nuts retorqued to 130 foot-pounds, and uh, see what she's got. Let me see if I can find a 3 8 drive socket that'll fit this so we can take that adapter off of there. Okay, round two with this 3 8 drive. So now this time I've got a 7 8 inch 3 8 drive socket right on the gun. Now it's a chrome socket. It's not rated for impact. And I don't recommend using chrome sockets on an impact devices, but for testing purposes, we're going to do it this one time. We're going to see if this gun has enough torque to take off these 130 foot-pound lug nuts without any adapters whatsoever. And it may have to hammer for, you know, 30, 40, 50 seconds, but I, I'd be willing to bet these nuts will come off here eventually. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Well, there you have it. This little gun will do it. She'll do it, but you really got to help it along with, uh, with the correct setup. Well, she's a little warm after all of that, but that's to be expected, I guess. Big, big shout out to Nico Tools for sending us all this nice stuff to check out. But that's all I have for now. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.